Well, when NASA announced to the crew of the next mission to circle the moon, Maine astronaut Jessica Meir sent congratulations to the four selected astronauts. She's worked closely with two of them. Meir has trained extensively with pilot Victor Glover. This is a picture of them training together when they were astronaut candidates back in 2013. This picture, by the way, was taken in Rangeley. Another friend of Mir's is Christina Hammock Cook. Mir and Cook made history when they were stationed on the International Space Station together. They conducted the world's first all female spacewalk. They were working on upgrading the ISS power supply while they were there. The four A Artemis II astronauts appearing on the Today Show this morning with Savannah Guthrie and Hoda Kotb. Yeah, they found out this has been a lifelong dream for Cook, who actually went to space camp as a kid. It's an absolutely incredible moment, you know, to have the opportunity to give back to the people that were inspiring me when I was that young little girl and to eventually realize the dreams that were in the posters on my wall as a kid and um, to be here in a time we're going for all and by all. It's an amazing time mm -hmm. and um, I'm honored to be here. So you're, Captain Glover, you're the pilot. Yes. I heard uh -huh. you're going to do, now listen, I'm not a NASA engineer <laughs> like y'all, but it's like you're doing some kind of figure eight situation. Uh -huh. You're going to be on the dark side of the moon. Tell us about the mission. Yeah, yeah. so we, uh, we will start off in the first day we're going to actually orbit the earth oh. and in that we're going to do some pretty amazing things we're going to go up to about 40,000 miles above the earth and on the way test out the Orion vehicle we'll separate wow. from the upper stage of the rocket and pretend as if we're going to dock to it because mm. on future missions they need to dock to a lander or a, a space station around the moon okay. and then we're going to spend that first 24 hours checking out the rest of the life support and habitation systems mm. and then we get those amazing words that we haven't heard in over 50 years your go for TLI translunar injection is the burn that sends us to to the moon ah. and on this trajectory it's also the burn that will sling us back to earth so that one burn gets us there and back. It's so oh exciting. my God. Is that like the blast to hyperspace in Star Wars? <laughs> kind of Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> well, there's probably a moment where you look out the window when you're in that moment where there is the most beautiful, I guess, photo to be had or moment to be seen. You have a poster in that, right, Christina, and on your on your wall of that. Absolutely. Um, tell us what that might feel like for you and who's going to be able to take the picture? Who gets that? <laughs> Are we doing selfies with Beard? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we'll all spend some time behind the camera lens, but absolutely, the poster of Earthrise taken by Bill Anders on Apollo 8 has been an inspiration for me my entire oh, life. Yes. And when I think about how the mission that we are on is kind of the modern day mirror of that mission and that we might have the opportunity to bring back an image like that, that hopefully unites all of humanity behind what we're doing and that you can do great things when you come together. Mm. That's an awesome mission. So many itself. astronauts have talked about that perspective, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. perspective you gain when you see the Earth as so few have. And I know, yeah. Captain Glover, you're a person of faith. On the ISS, mm -hmm. you even yes. took yes. communion, but there are people of multiple <laughs> faiths. And mm -hmm. can you put into words what it is like just to mm -hmm. see our precious planet yes. from I that mean, vantage two, point? Two things that become clear to you is that we are on this ship together, and that's all the human life that we, all the life we've ever found. Mm -hmm. And so it makes you want to take care of that planet, which takes care of us, mm -hmm. and it makes you want to take care of each other. You know, you see the world as it is no labels, no legends. Uh, something for me that's obvious is there's no distance marker telling you how far things are. You have to figure it out for yourself. Mm -hmm. And when you see the world as it is, you see that there's no division. There's no natural division. We are all on this together. We're one people. Great message there.